and welcome back to the channel. My name is John and we are going to paint this truck today. If you've seen any of the last videos, we've done a lot of work on this truck, but uh, now I want to get this painted. I want to get all the rust spots taken care of. Look at that. Now that I'm looking at this, we've got to fix that. We've got to sand all this down. 1982 F-150. It's got the 302 engine in it instead of the inline six. See all the splotches in this paint job? Well, there's a lot of shadow going on here, but it's not a very good paint job. I've started sanding down the hood here. Really hard to tell what there's dew on here. Oh, it's kind of dirty. I painted the grill. I might repaint that white. We'll see after I put this paint job on here. We put a nice uh, truck bed coating on this uh, a couple months ago, and that's how we're going to leave it. This is going to be my first time ever painting a car. I am an amateur. Keep that in mind. I'm going to be trying some new stuff. I'm not going to get this perfect, but uh, I guarantee I'm going to get it better than what it's looking at than, than what it looks like right now. Look at this. I mean, this is like dark, light, dark, light. It's not a very good paint job. I've already sanded down some overspray up here. This was a bunch. Oh, you can still see it. So you still see a little bit of overspray. So I got to sand that down a little bit more where it dripped. I got a lot of prep work to do. I won't bore you with all that, but uh, let me get busy and then bring you back as uh, I go along. For now, I'm going into work. Yes, I have a real job day job so unfortunately i can't do youtube full time maybe i could if you guys uh supported me and uh, you know thumbs up this video like it sub subscribe you know i don't have nearly enough followers to uh to make any money off this thing so you know so i've taken the back door off here and uh, you can see i've sanded down a little bit right here uh looks like somebody did a kind of a bondo job on here before it came off it wasn't done very well so not a, not a ton of rust spots, which is good. I'm actually really impressed that there's not very much rust on here at all. You, you, you'd think you'd see it back here, back here, but there's really not much at all. There's some 80 grit sandpaper here. Folks, well here we are. I've taken the bumper off, the front bumper. I've taken the grill off here. Just putting it over here right now. I've also got the uh, tailgate off, grill bumper, rear bumper off. I've taken the uh, the mirrors off here. We are going to just tape this up. We're gonna tape that up. And taking off the lights. I think I am ready to sand this down. I wanna sand it down outside. I wanna tape it up. We're gonna prime it. Phase one is done. Now we gotta uh, do some more prep work. We're gonna sand it down and tape it up and get moving on this vehicle. What I'm trying to do here is just scuff this up so the paint will stick on here. I am going to prime this. I'm not going to scuff it up too much because the primer, I'm going to scuff it up a little bit, you know, but the primer hopefully will, you know, give a good surface for the paint to stick to it. And I am getting down to some clear metal in some areas, so I'm going to prime those with uh, some special primer that I got to cover the metal. But uh, for the most part, I'm not getting down to the metal. All right, so let's uh, let's mix this over the uh, the black crows. Okay, don't need too much. All 
All right, well, that was a pretty crappy job, but uh, I'm gonna sand all that down. It's just gonna be a lot of sanding. But I hit uh, kind of the high spots or the low spots, however you look at it. Yeah, yeah it's pretty ugly. But uh, anyway, let that harden for about 20, 30 minutes. I'll come back, sand it down with some 80 grit sandpaper, then put 180, and then, uh, you know, I'll kind of work my way up to 400, and then we'll get uh, ready to put some primer on there. This 3M perforated trim masking tape is coming in handy. Um, it's got a hard edge and then this is tape right here. And so you can kind of stick the edge underneath the trim and then fold it over and stick it on the window. So here's what it looks like. You just, uh, it comes perforated. You just tear off a piece and then you take off this white um, backing and that sticks to the window. I've got a few uh, playing cards in here doing the same thing. So I've still got um, this window to go here. I've got some uh, rope around here to kind of pull this up. And uh, I've got a few more things I've got to tape off. But for now, that's the quick update. All right, I've got this in the barn and I think I've got most of it wrapped up. Trying to heat up nicely in here. I need to get the, I need to get this uh, up a few degrees in here, so uh, I got the grill turned on. It's only going to be about 50 today. I want to get it up, you know, at least about 65 in here. Then I can start painting. All right, we've got some plastic up in here. We still got the grill going, and it's making a little smoke in here. But uh, I'm going to turn this off before we actually paint. But just let this. Grill heat up the room a little bit longer. All right, it's been a lot, about an hour in here. Most of the smoke is actually cleared out and it is pretty warm in here. So the grill is certainly helping. I've wiped this down a couple times. So I am just about ready to put my first coat of primer on here. I've got a couple primers. First, I've got this self etching primer and that's for the bare metal. And then I was given this uh, to spray on after I put this on. I don't know if I really needed this. You know, I don't have a lot of bare metal. This is like 40 bucks for this thing. That's pretty pricey. This was about 80 bucks for this. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my face to make it easier to clean. Feel. That should be good. Wear my hat, keep it off my hair. All right, let's do this. All right, next up we got this primer. It's Five Star Extreme X Solids Acrylic Lacquer Primer <sighs> Surfacer Gray. A uh, gray color, and it's gonna go in this Astro HE. I'm gonna keep it at, uh, well, it's still showing about 80 right now. When I hit the gun, it's gonna go about, I got it set for 25 PSI right now. Looks like a one to one mix uh, acetone to primer. Don't use red solo cups, guys. Use these uh, mixing cups here, especially when using acetone. So, this is first pass. I haven't done this, obviously.
All right, after we got past this disaster here, started using the appropriate cups. Um, this actually turned out pretty decent for, you know, my first pass. I, I, I had trouble getting used to the gun. Well, I didn't have trouble, but I had to get used to the gun. I had to dial it in. I wanted to go too fast. Um, I'm just used to going real fast, but I had to slow it down. I'm just gonna put two coats on it, and now it's ready for paint. All right, so after doing this myself, I definitely respect the experts. All right, you got to get out of here. Go, 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 go. Definitely respect the experts. This is uh, something that takes uh, time uh, to get used to. It takes a skill, um, especially if you want to do a really nice job. All right, let's move on to these next coat. Get, all right, you can't be in here. All right, time for the paint. Well, right about here, the spray gun begins to get more narrow and more narrow. Um, and I'm starting to get kind of frustrated because I don't know what's going on. Like, uh, like the gun is clogged or something. I keep spraying it for a few more minutes to try to see if I can unclog it by uh, using it and running the air through it some more, but it doesn't seem to be working. All right, I took out this filter here. Oh yeah, there are some, well it is catching some stuff, but. Removing the filter did not help at all. Apparently it was not clogged. You'll see in a second actually what the issue is here. Okay, I figured it out. This was clogged right here. And it wasn't letting any air get in. So I think that will solve the problem. So I probably can put the filter back in, but for now I'm just gonna leave it out. Look right here, just like that. There you go. Yeah, it's working now. Well, I don't want to stay in here too long with my mask off, but uh, it's been about 15 minutes and uh, all right, I got the second coat on. I didn't take you guys through all that because uh, it would have been really hard to film. And I am out of paint. Uh, I'm gonna let this dry for about 20, 30 minutes, and then we're gonna go with the clear coat. This is what we're gonna use for the clear coat. It's a four to one mix. This is the hardener, and this is the clear coat. Four parts to one part of this. On, but I got two coats done and uh, you know I'm gonna call it a night I did notice a couple runs here like there you go there's one 
And what I found was, when I was looking at the PSI setting on here, it should be set to about 25, 29, something like that. It was set to 60, all the way up there. I don't know if I moved it accidentally or bumped it, but I didn't, it was putting way too much out. So, you know, we'll see how it looks in the morning. All right, guys, it's the next day here, and I'm coming out to look at this, and wow, it looks smooth and shiny. Before it was all grainy, I spent a lot of time sanding the hood down, um, and it, it was well worth it. You can see these uh, drips here because the gun, I believe I oversprayed too much when it was set to like 60 PSI. So um, I think that's just the, the uh, top coat. So I'm hoping I can buff that out. Oh man, look at these red solo cups. Wow. You know, I don't know if I want to drink out of red solo cups. You know, even if regular alcohol took a little bit of that plastic off, that would get in your system. Okay, I'm gonna buff out this car starting with 800, and then I have 1,000 here and 2,000. I wish I had 1,500 or 1,200, but I don't, so uh, maybe just this will be enough i'm starting off with 800 grit I'm not pressing too hard just very lightly just to try to buff these uh, runs down i don't want to get into the paint at all it's almost there all right i'm going to wipe it down and i'm going to move up to a thousand and wet sand it. This is 2000 grit. We're going to use this. Final step, now onto the finishing polish. All right, this is starting to look much better. stuff it's been a few weeks since this truck has been started 12.4 I'm not quite sure what is going on here <laughs> this connection is bad look at that all right turns out we got a bad cable so I picked this up let's replace that real quick
Okay, let's try it out. All right, now that I've gotten this truck outside, I'll give you guys a walk around and a little bit better lighting. Smudge right there. So it's not perfect. You're probably not gonna see the imperfections on camera. But uh, you know what? It turned out much better than I anticipated. You can see I sanded down there a little bit too much and went through the paint. You got to be careful when you're buffing and sanding. This was the spot that was oversprayed before and you can see I didn't quite sand it down, sand all the Bondo out there. So I could have done a better job there. At least that'll protect it and uh, it'll look fairly decent going down the road. That's all I really wanted to get out of it. And I wanted to get the experience doing it myself. This is my first time ever using um, uh, paint gun on a car with um, and, and just following all the whole process of sanding priming base coat top coat so that was definitely um, first time experience for me here's a look at the inside with the seat this is a new leather seat and uh, we painted these black here but the inside looks really good Now if we could just fix that rear main seal. Ah, oh, it's still leaking after I replaced it. All right, we got the man in the Snuggie. <laughs> He's gonna help install this. close it out here. Thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.